Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's edition of Flashback Friday. Today, we're going to have a look at this wonderful old piece, the scratch-built Bane Blade that used to be uh, doing the rounds back in the day. I think the uh, templates for this first showed up in White Dwarf a long, long time ago when I was a boy, but from the finished article, which we can see uh, in the pictures here, I think we can all agree that this was well worthy of something to be made. Um, if you had a rainy day, this is perhaps something you would pour over your pages of White Dwarf to assemble. But I think this uh, this little Bane Blade here has a lot of character. It actually reminds me more of the epic Metal Bane Blade from a long, long time ago, and I do wonder which came first, the epic Bane Blade or this scratch-built piece? Um, I do like this picture here, the black and white one. You can see it's a little bit wonky at the front there. Check out those tracks. <laughs> but such is what happens when you're using plastic card or uh, cereal packets to construct your tank. Um, notice back in the day, they used to love their banners on their tanks. Um, something I think really does need to make a comeback these uh, black and white photos we're looking at here, they actually remind me of uh, World War II photography for some reason. But I do think it has a lot of charm and character. Another thing I like to see is the old uh, numerical devices you can see on the front of the hull there. I think the old numbers always used to make everything look a little bit more realistic. And it kind of blurs that line between uh, realism and fantasy, uh, which is something I like to see uh, on kits nowadays. If someone does numerical things, I always think it looks a little bit better than using having your average uh, random logos, such as your Roman numerals. I don't really like those. I think numerics look a lot better. But that's a personal taste thing. Anyway, here we can see some little screen grabs of the old templates. Uh, I think you would just literally cut these pieces out or photocopy them first onto paper, stick it to some card and cut them out and then assemble them in a way that the uh, article would show you. You also had a few rules here that would uh, show you how to use your Bane Blade in the old game. I don't know if these were rules for Rogue Trader or if they were rules for 2nd edition 40k. Who knows? Uh, I'd be interested to hear if any of you actually used those rules and used the, ga used the game, used the Bane Blade yourselves in the games. Anyway, that concludes uh, this week's Flashback Friday, and we'll see you again next Friday for another wonderful piece of history. Goodbye.